Dore Lorenzo Development Corporation seized an opportunity to build spaces that put students first. 20 years later, we have grown to be one of the youngest, most progressive, full-scale developers in the country. But our success didn't happen by chance. It happened by design. We purposefully selected locations around the biggest colleges in Metro Manila with our premium university residences. In these areas, we also created premium residences to cater to the young professionals. We invested early in cities we knew would grow into centers of business activity and tourism to develop at just the right time. There, we built premium lifestyle developments and modern townships designed for the increasingly discerning consumer. Each project better than the last. Today, the Torre Lorenzo name is equated with high quality construction, innovative design, and a promise to respect the land and the community around us. Inspired by the country's economic growth, we plan to expand to other key cities in the near future. Over the years, we have nurtured a distinct culture that defines us and guides our every move. With this philosophy, we built a team of experienced, innovative, passionate people with a shared objective to plan, to build, to sell, and to keep our developments new and progressive. For five years now, our strategy has enabled significant annual revenue increases so that at the close of 2019, we would have grown in value from 1.47 billion to 12.6 billion. Our ambitions continue to lead us towards the forefront of the industry, only getting better with every milestone along the way. Join us in our journey. We can't wait to tell you what we have planned for tomorrow. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, JM, potential na. Some of you had to wait. So, we were giving time, enough time for our guests to actually come into the Zoom room. Welcome to this virtual event on designing your condo brought to you by Tierra Lorenzo Lipa. I am Flor and I will be your host this afternoon. So, ngayong hapon ay excited po kami na may bahagi sa inyo ang aming pinakaunang proyekto dito sa magandang lunsod ng Lipa sa lalawigan ng Batangas. To formally welcome us in today's event, please join me in welcoming the Chief Operate, Operating Officer of Torre Lorenzo Development Corporation, Ms. Cathy C. Ko. So this afternoon, we'd like to introduce you to our newest baby, our newest project, which is the second tower of Tierra Lorenzo in Lipa. Okay? Um, Torre Lorenzo has always been looking at new areas uh, to develop at. We don't like to be in areas which are crowded with other developers already. So early on, we branched out of Metro Manila and brought our brand of premium quality uh, to the next wave cities like Davao and right at the very heart of South Luzon, which is Lipa City in Batangas. We thought that it made good sense to invest in Lipa City because we saw that it's you know, thriving. It has a lot of, uh, the population is quite big at 300,000. And we see a lot of industries actually relocating, locating to Lipa. And during the pandemic, we also saw that a lot of people who migrated out of Lipa or Batangas have actually started to come home. So this is really a very good place for us and a very good time actually for us to introduce our second tower uh, in, in this city. We, 
we at Pierre, uh, Torre Lorenzo bring you an upgraded condo living uh, experience with our Tierra Lorenzo um, with the same thoughtfully designed units and amenities that have become standards in all our properties. And then as with our other properties, this project sits right at the center of everyday essentials, your commercial centers, your schools, banks, and hospitals, ensuring that you are never too far away from the things that you need. With Tierra Lorenzo Lipa, you get the best of both worlds. The convenience of modern condo living with a wide open space. I know that you know in talks with some of you, with some of the people from Lipa, they are still looking for, people are used to house and lot with their own backyards and gardens. So we've like, um, you still would have your living space, you'd still have your garden, and that uh, twist here is that there will be somebody else taking care of the garden for you. So the open space will be there, but you don't have to take care of it. Somebody else will take care of it for you. So that's uh, what we bring you uh, with our development. With the pandemic, we all found ourselves uh, cooped up in our homes, no? And then we're suddenly aware of all the little things that we want to do in our houses, in our rooms, etc. So this afternoon, We'd like to walk you through various ways of dressing up your spaces so that, you know, we see a lot of ideas, but somehow we are not able to put them together. So we have someone with us, one of our very own, who will walk you through how to put things together. I am sure that you will find this uh, quite uh, interesting, this session quite interesting and insightful. So again, Maraming salamat sa oras ninyo this afternoon and uh, we hope to see you in our project very soon. Good afternoon. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Uh, gusto ko sana i-share sa inyo yung bagong project namin sa Lipa, which is ang Tierra Lorenzo Lipa. Meron siyang dalawang residential towers at isang award-winning hotel chain ng Ducet International, ang Ducet Princess Hotel. Ito po ang kauna-unahang project na may ganitong kalidad sa lungsod ng Lipa. In collaboration with Ducet International, with Ducet Princess Lipa, makikita ang pinagsama-sama na galing ng Thai at Filipino brands of hospitality and attention to detail kung saan talaga kilala si Torre Lorenzo. Ang mga residential towers ng uh, Tierra Lorenzo Lipa ay may mga upscale amenities katulad ng playground, right? multi-purpose pavilion, Recreational swimming pool, fitness center, at atriums. Pagkatapos ng success ng aming Tower One launch, launch uh, gusto namin ipakita ngayon sa inyo ang pinakabagong itatayo na Tower Two. Ang Tower Two ay merong 11 floors, sampu dito ay residential floors. So sa Tower 2, meron din siyang one-bedroom at two-bedroom units. At part ng highlights ng Tower 2 ay ang studio units na hindi inalok sa ating Tower 1. Ito naman ang ating mga unit deliverables sa Tower 2. So meron na po siyang mga cabinets, uh, kitchen uh, countertops, 
uh, sinks, right? At po sa floor layouts, okay? Actually, dito sa, actually dito, ang idea sa overall construction design ng residential towers, meron siyang open space para makita yung ganda ng lipa weather and environment. Na-consider din sa design ang sky roof para makapasok yung natural sunlight sa lahat ng floors. For the units, uh, ito po ang studio unit layout. Tamang-tama lang po ang space for solo occupants. For ang um, one-bedroom naman po, perfect siya for startup families. At ang two-bedroom uh, naman po, uh, perfect po for bigger families kung saan makakapag-share ng common space. At the same time, may rooms din pa, pa din sila for privacy. Ngayon naman, excited. Uh, ba kayo makilala ang aming technical planning and design team head right? nandito siya ngayon para ma-share naman ang kanyang expert tips kung paan natin mapaganda at magagawang functional ang pag-design ng mga condo units I'd like to introduce Ms. Architect Trisha Arbieta Good afternoon everyone uh, Hello fellow Batanguenos Just to give you a short background uh, my father is from Bawan, Batangas so I remember when I was a kid, so the whole family would go there every weekend, you know, just to enjoy simple provincial life, um, the nature, and food especially. Um, you know, that's I think that's uh, one of my best childhood memories. Ngayon, that's why this uh, project here in Tierra Lorenzo Lipa, it's, it, it's kind of very special to me because it, it brings me back to, the, to my roots here in Batangas. So anyway, so I'm so excited today to, to share with you some tips, some simple design tips but you can design your own condominium, your own unit. So actually, you don't need any interior designer. After today, siguro, baka you'll have the confidence na to, to design your own unit na. Sige, so let's start. So um, first step is marireceive nyo yung bare unit nyo. So this is the bare unit na kikita nyo on the right side. So, uh, ito turn over sa inyo yan. Um, I suggest na pag once na na-inspect nyo, i-check nyo lang the following items. So, the location of the electrical outlets, the cable outlets, um, location ng aircon, tapos uh, how many lighting fixture pwede nyo mailagay, um, Tapos um, the window, lahat yan, kailangan nyo inspect. So kasi that will guide you pag-design nyo ng space. So yung iba sa inyo kasi, um, sasabihin na, um, how do I design my own space? Wala akong experience pa. And then where do I start? So don't worry, um, I will give you some basic concepts na pwede nyo uh, pagpilian. Uh, madaling madali nyo lang tong magagawa on your own. Sige, so next slide please. So so the first concept natin is what you call contemporary. So ang contemporary is the now and the future. So whatever kung ano yung in thing now um today. Um kung ano yung mga nakikita nyo na furniture sa mga furniture shop ngayon. Yan. Yan ang mga contemporary na furniture. But sabi ko nga, ang con contemporary design is always um Subtle in design, but sophisticated. And then try to focus on color and then add more texture on it. So as you can see on the photo, no? so, so you'll see the sage green bed. Tapos uh, ang texture niyan are the gold metallic accessories. So this is one of our, uh, this is the master bedroom in, uh, in our model unit in Lipa Tower 1. So if you want, you can see it. Uh, visit the place para makita nyo how we did the design. So that's the contemporary design. So the next one um, is minimalist. So actually minimalist, ito ginagamit ito ng mga Japanese actually. So it's a combination of monochromatics and and uh, in color. So and then um, uh, with modern design finishes, but they combine it with natural elements such as wood. So makikita nyo on the photos, um, very simple and straightforward ang mga furniture, pati ang walls niya, al 
ano lang siya, very light gray lang ang color and then but look at the floor and the accent chair so they combine it with um, uh, a natural element which is wood so that's minimalist okay the third one the third concept is coastal or beach concept so um, I think this is the easiest concept na pwede niyong gawin ano uh, kung ang bare unit niyo for example are painted in white na so you don't need to paint anything anymore. You just add mga organic furniture like uh, rattan and wicker chair, ganyan. So, and then a playful use of blues and white colors. So you can achieve this concept already. So the next concept naman is um, industrial. Usually, alam nyo, mga may gusto nito, mga young professional, usually mga male, because ginagawa nila to for their bachelor's pad, and then newlyweds, yan ang mga gusto rin nito, and then um, students. So, this is a combination of metal, glass, and then a cement-like finish na, na kunari, wall, but always combine it with black uh, any any black color so it comes into like some picture you know makita niyo mga tropilos and the dividers are in black so yeah so that's industrial so the next one is luxurious so this one is an upgrade of contemporary na so it means um medyo costly na to because you will um upgrade your finishes na like you can put um a wallpaper on your headboard uh, instead of mga bed frame, you can do padded bed frame. And then ang mga, ang mga um, beddings mo and curtains are all rich in fabrics, ganyan. So that's how you achieve this luxurious. And then put in, uh, put in some um, area rug na, na talagang maganda siya that it will catch talaga attention. No? So your parang accent piece. So yun ang mga luxurious na items na pwede nyong ilagay dito. So it's just an upgrade lang of uh, the contemporary look. So based on this concept, so, so I gave you already five concepts. So once you decide your final concept, so meron ka ng decision, ah, okay, ito ang gusto ko. Now this is my number, the first tip that I can give you, choosing the right color. So how to choose the right color? Um, when you go to um, mga MC Home depots natin, mga depot stores natin dito sa Manila, they have mga coloring stations dyan. Um, complete lahat ang mga color palettes nila. So dyan kayo pwedeng pumili ng mga color combination nyo. But again, uh, I will suggest some color combinations for you. Um, Let's just go back to the concept na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, the five concept, kasi that will guide you talaga. So first, contemporary. So sabi natin, it's the in thing now. Uh, ito yung fad ngayon. So do you know that uh, this year, 2021, ang Pantone color of the year is gray and yellow. So you can do all shades of gray, gawin yung monochromatic yung walls and everything, cabinets, lahat. But Again, focus on color and texture. So you'll see the color comes in the rust uh, sofa. And then the texture naman, makita nyo, nandun ng rugs, nandun ng area rugs, and then merong mga decors kayo na pwedeng ilagay. So yan ang contemporary. So all shades of gray, you can choose neutral colors and then with a punch of color. So yan. So the next one is minimalist. Again, we use the gray kasi nga it's neutral color. And you can also use um, any neutral colors like beige or cream. And then, di ba, ang sinabi ko kanina is combine it with the natural element. So, ito, kinombine dito ang wood element, which is makikita niya nasa closets. Um, and then, naglagay pa sila ng parang um, uh, wood accents sa ledge ng windows. And then, um, makikita niya lahat ang furniture are all in wood. But look at the design of the furniture. The design of furniture is nasa modern siya. Kasi nga, diba, it's monochromatic and modern in finish and design, but combining it with natural element, which is the wood. So yan, so you can do that neutral colors. Again, pwede kayong mag cool gray, warm gray, and then with wood accent naman, ang minimalist. Okay, the next uh, color combination that you can do is the coastal. Sabi ko nga, this is the easiest. Mm -hmm. If you have a white colored walls, bili lang kayo ng white sofa or off-white mm -hmm. sofa and then throw in some 
uh, patterned throw pillows like stripes, solid blues, and aquas color. So playful use lang of colors dito, blue and white. So pati decor nyo ganun. So you, you, you can achieve this uh, coastal uh, concept na to with these colors. So the next one is industrial. So again, uh, it's black and gray with a metal and glass. And then you can add color by, for example, if you have an extra wall, na pwede niyong gawing stone, stone wall yan. Um, that will add color pa rin. But usually, ang industrial talaga, it's usually in gray and in black. So yan. So yan ang mga colors ng industrial uh, concept. So the next one is luxurious. So this one, uh, pwede kayong mag combine ng, for example, neutral colors like in sand um, colors, any shades uh, pwede kayong cream beige um, and also warm gray so itong, itong nasa luxurious na to it's a warm gray, hindi siya cool gray uh, but then you combine it with this rich tone uh, wood stain and then um, the fabrics dapat medyo nasa mga medium tone na siya like greens uh, blues, burgundies, yan. Yan ang mga pwede nyong i-combine para maging luxurious yung, yung um, space nyo, no? So, also, um, sabi nga natin kanina, di ba? It's an upgraded version. So, may kita nyo that there's a uh, parang an intricate design na sa headboard. And then the coffee table has a natural stone top. Yan. So, may mga patterns na lahat yung mga curtains and area rugs so even the fabrics and the bed sheets natin are very rich na siya so medyo costly lang pero if you really want this uh this um the look uh yeah you can achieve it on your own lang so usually ang mga may gusto nito are are mga siguro mga um couples na na mid 30s and to 50s and then young executives ladies ganyan and then usually mga retired couples gusto rin to mga gantong concept so yan so you can achieve those no so the next one the last one is a very simple concept so it's just monochromatic so you can do all white all beige all gray but what my suggestion is you put plants okay so you add plants lang kasi ang add, ang plants give life and uh, color to any space so look when you look at the when you look at the photos kahit na all white lang yan basta may plants diyan it's a perfect color ano na yan uh, accent na yan in your space okay so now you have the color na so again sabi ko nga you just go to any um, home depot natin and daming coloring stations diyan at saka marami silang palette you can choose from them and and uh, pwede nyo nang ipamix sa kanila yung gusto nyong color. So after color, my tip number two naman is furniture sizes and design. So how, how do I choose the right furniture size, especially kung, kung ano lang, kung um, let's say ang condo ko is a um, studio unit. Paano ko, ma, paano ko mapapakita na hindi masyado cramp yung, yung aking unit? Ano? So here are my four tips how to choose your furniture. So kasi challenge talaga if you have like for example a studio unit, uh, paano natin mapapakita medyo ang space is uh, bigger, larger, para may illusion na gano'n. Ano? So um, number one tip ko how to choose the right furniture is you go undersize. When you go to any furniture store, may kita nyo dyan, uh, nandiyan na mga sofas, dining tables, mm -hmm. lahat. But you ask the yung mga assistant doon, kuya, nasan yung mga compact furniture? Kasi ito yung mga undersized na na furniture. So, you go with undersized. For example, kung two-seater yan na sofa, meron pa yung mas maliit, but they're very comfort comfortable. Ha? So, yan. So, yun ang tip number one ko. And then, the number two, you'll see, uh, can you go back again, Trisha? Uh, it's, it's regarding the sofa. Look at the check mark. So, ang tip number two ko dito is, the sofa should be squarish in size and then with low back. So wag kayo bibili ng sofa na very chunky, yung mga kakapal mga padding sa gilid and then masyadong high ang back. So stay with the squarish in uh, shape and then low ang back niya. So the next one, next slide please. Uh, this is the dining table naman. So the dining table, 
uh, my tip for you is always choose a glass top dining table kasi nga it gives the illusion or or parang a feeling of na medyo malaki ang unit mo again balik tayo ha so kahit na glass top yan go for an undersized dining table and for the dining chair um my my tip for you is uh you can do wood you can do like this one um a fully upholstered one but it should be low back again low back dining chair and with slimmer legs so yan ang tip ko for the dining set no now for the bedroom um you can okay uh it's really up to you siguro for for the unit siguro the maximum that you can that you can get no sa bed nyo is a queen size bed so if you decide to get a queen size bed for your unit um make sure lang that the side tables the accent chairs na ilalagay nyo dyan should all be undersized again so mga maliliit na lang kasi para you'll have a space uh, to go to walk around your bed and then ang illusion niyan malaki pa rin kasi meron kayong mga maliliit na space so pag malaki ang bed nyo you can you just choose lang mga maliliit na side tables na lang ha and then the chair so yan ang tips ko for for how to select the right furniture by doing this ang 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 ano nyo, ang um, unit nyo, um hindi masyado magmumukhang cramp at saka hindi magmumukhang um uh, uh, parang punong-puno no so so yan so the next tip na mabibigay ko sa inyo is accessorizing I'm sure lahat sa inyo will buy display shelves, magpapalagay kayo ng mga ng mga um, open shelves sa isang corner of your walls. So I will teach you how to do um, accessorizing properly. Okay? So uh, rule of thumb, my tip number one here is always go for odd numbers. So if you put a design or a decor on your shelf, so always in odd numbers. So if you see the photos on the left, um, uh, there's a accent uh, mirror with two decors lang. So yun lang, tatlo lang siya. And then if you look naman at the photos on the right, makita nyo na, na kahit bilangin nyo yan. So that's, that's all in odd numbers. So yan ang rule of thumb, no? So odd numbers lahat. So ang number two tip ko sa inyo how to accessorize is um, layering. Um, Atricia, can you go back one slide pa? Uh, yeah, so layering. So if you have mga photo frames, um, uh, for example, a painting that you want to this to this uh, to 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 uh, no, to um, to put on the shelf, and then uh, or kaya mga mga artworks nyo na pinaframe nyo. So you can do that, but I suggest na you layer it with a with a smaller item in front. For example, like. Uh, for example, a small vase, uh, a small jar, ganyan. So it means layering lang yan. Or kaya if you have uh, a group of vases, for example, na trees, so you can put it like yung isa nasa likod, yung isa nasa side, yung isa nasa, yung isa nasa front, yung ganon. So you layer it lang. Huwag nyo silang i-line up all together na para silang one line lang lahat. So in that sense, parang may depth ng konti yung shelves nyo. Okay, so ang tip number three ko, so next slide na, Trisha. So that, ang, ang tip number three ko is balance. No? So, so if, for example, you have a big, tall vases, may dalawa kayong ganon, so wag nyo silang pagsasamahin on one shelf. So it's always, ihiwalay nyo sila, so i-balance nyo. So if you look at the picture on the left, kahit isa-isa lang yan on the middle, pero um, not, hindi sila magkasama sa isang shelf. So it's, it creates balance. At saka kung kailangan nyo ng height, so may kung meron tayong mga books, uh, you can stack it and then put a small vase on top so that magkakaroon na kayo ng height ng konti. So yun lang, balance. So the last uh, tip na mabibigay ko sa inyo for accessorizing is again to put plants. Bakit? Because plants give texture, height, color, and again, sabi ko nga, gives life. So sabi ko, uh, sana if you can if you can do it, sana live plants ang ilagay nyo. Ngayon kung talagang mga hindi kayo green thumb at talagang pero gusto nyo maglagay ng plant, you can do so, pero may on a minimal um, uh, number lang kasi uh, mas gusto ko pa rin ay suggest na sana live plant ang nandyan. 
So those are my tips for accessorizing. So you have color na combination. You have you you know how to select furniture, and then you know how to accessorize your decor. So ang fourth tip ko sa inyo is lighting. Okay, so I think this is the most important uh, 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 tip siguro to create this good ambiance. Kasi hindi lahat sa inyo, um, uh, I mean, uh, um, some of you gusto um, a good ambiance, may mood lighting sa unit nyo. So how do I do this? So ano ang cheapest way? Ito ang, ito ang mga tips ko sa inyo. So nasa inyo na yung bare unit nyo, di ba? So na-check nyo na na may na merong isang provision ng light. For example, for a studio unit, may isang provision na light sa gitna ng living, dining, and bedroom. So paano ko ito ma-achieve yung gusto kong ambiance? Pa paano ko ito magagawa ng magandang lighting? Okay, so ang, ang number one tip ko is to buy truck lights. Okay, ang isang truck ngayon, it, you can put five lighting fixture the whole section of your unit, it, it can illuminate already the whole section of your unit. So mga truck lights ngayon are very modern na in design. So unlike nung mga, siguro mga 80s o, o 90s, ganyan. So medyo hindi natin ginagamit ang truck lights kasi nga medyo old pa ang design. Pero when you look at it, pag nagpunta kayo sa mga lighting stores, ang truck lights ngayon are very modern na in design. So you can use that. So that's the easiest way and cheapest way mag-truck lights kayo. And then the second lighting na isasuggest ko sa inyo is this wide pendant lighting. Okay, so these are, um, these lights naman, uh, it has, um, it has uh, parang mga long arm that spreads horizontally. So medyo wide ang angle niya. So pag nag-illuminate siya ng room, medyo wide siya. So, uh, these lights are all available here ha, in Manila. So even these two lights na, na nasa left side photo, these are all available here in Manila. So easier for you to, to buy. So ibig sabihin, um, huwag kayo bibili ng mga uh, parang chandelier type na naka-down light lang kasi ang, ang ini-illuminate nun, yung baba lang niya, yung, the one below. So ang kailangan nyo talaga are these long arm na mga uh, lights na, that, that spreads nga horizontally. Ano? So, ito, katulad yan, merong, merong light na uh, nakakasing ng glass pag gusto nyo ng medyo contemporary and look. And then, the, the luxurious one, you can use the one below, yung, yung parang nasa gold na, na, na metal casing, lahat yan. So, frame. So, yan. Yan ang mga, yan ang mga ideas natin for light. My tip number three is to get uh, next slide, please. Uh, is to get table lamps. If you can, uh, if you can afford to get at least two table lamps and one floor lamp, so that would be great. You can create the mood lighting that you want. So, but can if cannot afford a floor lamp, just choose at least minimum of two table lamps para mas spread nyo lang sa sa unit nyo. So those are the tips for lighting. Um, so the next one, I think this is my last na no? My last tip is. Uh, invest or get one accent piece for your unit. So, balikan ko lang, no? So, yung lighting na yon, yung kanina, yung lighting, yung wide pendant light, pag yun din decide nyo to get for your, for example, for your living and dining, that would be your accent piece already. So, ano ba tong accent piece na to? So, it's a, it's a parang, uh, pag nakita ng bisita, uh, for example, may bisita kayo, no? Uh, pumasok sa unit nyo, uh, ang una-una tatanong kagad sa inyo, uh, uy, uh, where did you buy this coffee table? Where did you buy this painting? Ganyan. So it starts a conversation na kaagad in your unit. no? So next slide, please. So, so you can do like a nice painting, um, an, a wall art, like for example, a nice uh, something kakaiba na, na cabinet, uh, a beautiful coffee table. Uh, next slide, please. Um, what else? Uh, for example, uh, a furniture, a colored chair na may quirky design or medyo kakaibang design siya. Or let's say a light nga, a lighting fixture. Para yung sinabi ko kanina, no? So that's, that will be your accent piece na or just a plain decor. Kasi ang decor that sits on your coffee table, so kung medyo kakaiba siya talaga, so that's a conversational piece na. So, yeah, so I suggest that at least you invest on one, but you can, if you can get two or more, so that would be better, diba? 
or ang pinaka cheapest way na accent is uh, an accent color on your living room so anything that uh, that you feel na pwede yung going accent piece nyo so you have you have the choice lahat yan uh, pwede yung pwede yung ilagay diyan sa unit nyo no so yeah that's it i think um that's the last tip that i can give you so um before i end no my my presentation so i would like to share you lang my uh my one of my favorite interior design quotes so uh, a room should always start a conversation before people actually start exchanging words so yeah and so i think uh that's all for my uh tips today so i hope na um lahat ng tips na to um will encourage you to to design your own condominium your own space so again no need for an interior designer uh, kaya kaya nyo to gawin on your own and uh makakalagay pa kayo ng style nyo di ba so uh, thank you again and and have a pleasant good afternoon everyone so if you have any question later mga questions nyo i will be delighted to answer you all so, ladies and gentlemen we are honored to be joined by our CEO and President, Mr. Tomas Lorenzo. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, wala sa plano yung, pagka, <laughs> yung pag, pagsali ko dito, pero I just want to greet everybody. Good afternoon. And to, to the others, uh, napaka-exciting ito kasi uh, ating proyekto sa uh, Tierra, Lor Tierra Lorenzo Tower 2 ay uumpisa na po. At uh, kaya iniisip namin na pwede na po kayo mag-isip kung anong gagawin ninyong uh, decoration o anong bibili ninyo para sa inyong mga units. Uh, gusto ko pong idagdag lang sa sinabi ni Architect Trisha uh, na yung mga units po namin sa uh, Tierra Lorenzo Lipa, Tower 1 at Tower 2 ay Halos kompleto na po. Uh, nakita niyo po na yung listahan. Uh, kompleto na po. Ang kailangan na lang talaga furniture. Furniture, water heater, at washing machine kung kailangan po ninyo. Uh, at saka po, uh, madalas ako pumupunta sa Lipa. Nakikita ko na marami na talaga mga tindahan uh, ng mga furniture dun sa mga mall. Uh, marami rin sa inyo ay uh, sigurado na pumupunta bumubisita sa ibang mga lugar dito sa, sa may uh, Metro Manila o kahit sa Batangas City, marami rin po doon na mabibilhan na mga furniture. Kaya uh, kasi po maraming nagtatanong sa amin kung ano, anong pwedeng gawin sa kanilang unit. Um, yung iba po, uh, nakita mo naman yung ginawa ni Architect Trisha, uh, simple lang yung pagka uh, ayos nila. Yung iba naman po, uh, medyo uh, na nagaganahan para mag, maglagay ng mga furniture. Pero kung ano po, kahit ano pong gawin ninyo sa inyong unit, uh, handa po kaming tumulong uh, hanggat kaya namin uh, para makuha ninyo yung, yung, yung inyong uh, naisip o yung inyong uh, aspirational na condo unit. Uh, tapos sila architect Trisha po um, napaka hands on po yan uh, totoo na ang dami niyang mga tips yung mga tips na binigay niya, na, niya kanina ay halos yan ang maririnig mo sa mga interior designer uh, kaya po malaking tulong na to na makinig kayo kung anong, anong pwedeng gawin sa inyong mga unit uh, ako rin po ay nakaka, nakakadalaw sa mga tindahan ng furniture. May mga sample. May mga sample sila na uh, living room o kaya bedroom. Kung yan po ang gusto nyo, di pwede nyo tanungin yung uh, sales uh, salesperson doon kung, kung saan, kung ano yung, kung magkano siya o ano yung, uh, kung anong kailangan gawin para, para, para makuha yung ganong yung look ba. Uh, ito rin po uh, na nais kong sabihin sa inyo sa lahat na importante rin sa inyo na meron kayong budget. 
So isipin niyo muna yung inyong budget uh, bago kayo bumili para hindi kayo biglang gumastos sa isang bagay na napakamahal at mawalan kayo ng, ng pondo para sa ibang mga uh, kailangan sa bahay. Importante din na maisip ma ninyo na hindi naman kaagad-agad na kailangan i-furnish o itapos o i-kompleto ang unit. Pwede nyong gawin uh, dahan-dahan habang uh, meron kayong uh, konting kita o konting naipon. Hindi po importante na punong-puno yung unit kaagad. Ang importante ay komportable po kayo at nakakatulog kayo na mahimbing. So yun lang po. So maraming salamat and thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Tomas. O kagad, meron na akong chat dito. Uh, teka lang, so Q&A na agad. So, but before that, yun nga, sabi nga ni Sir Tomas, uh, yung mga tips kung paano i-arrange yung unit and then yung sinabi ni Architect Trisha, maraming tips. But at the end of the day, importante rin na depende dun sa budget natin. Actually, meron na kagad na first question dito, Architect Trisha. Okay, Pag bumili daw ba? Pag bumili daw ba ng unit ngayon sa Tierra Lorenzo Lipa? So, i-assist ba natin siya sa pagde-design ng unit niya? Ah, uh, you know, um siguro what we can do, no? Pinaka the best that we can do is uh we can we can assist naman uh kasi meron naman ako mga architects in charge, no? So, kaya sabi nga ni Sir Thomas, no? Uh, almost complete na pag pumasok kayo sa bare unit, yung bare unit niyo ng Lipa, it's almost complete na. So, it's more on the furniture na lang and accessories. So, what you can do siguro, you can email us. Uh, ito, yung, ito yung gusto naming furniture. Pwede ba ito? Ganyan. So, I gave you yung mga concept na, na, na pwede nyong gawin. So, start from there muna and then we can, we can guide you. Oo. Yun na lang siguro muna magagawa namin. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, yes, Floor. Yes. Excuse me. Can I, can I just add to that? No? Yes, Floor. Lahat ng pic, halos lahat ng picture na pinakita ni Architect Trisha ay mga model unit po namin. Oh. Hindi yan, hindi yan kinuha sa mga magazine. Hindi po yan kinuha sa mga, sa mga internet webpage. Si Architect Trisha po mismo ang nag-design at ang kanyang team up ang nag-design po niyan. Karamihan sa mga na bumibili sa amin, nakikita yung model unit at tinatanong sa amin kung saan ang galing yung mga gamit, saan ang galing yung mga furniture. Binibigay po namin yung listahan at saka doon 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 sila uh, nag uh, nag-uumpisa. Kasi importante talaga yung kan ang kanilang budget. Kaya kaya marami pong pinakita si Architect Trisha mula sa doon sa lahat ng mga pinakita niyang pictures kanina na yung iba uh, abot kaya naman, yung iba naman ay uh, medyo uh, may mamahalin kasi iba pong project yon yung yung proyektong yun talagang nag, yung mga buyers doon uh, gusto talaga ng ng uh, sobrang premium na na unit pero pwede niyo gawin sa unit niyo sa sa, sa Tierra Lorenzo Lipa wala pong problema yan ang importante lang po ay isipin niyo kung ano yung gusto ninyo at ano yung style na gusto ninyo thank you Oo, oh, tama. Kasi syempre, depende nga sa budget. So, yung mga po nahihiya na magtanong dito sa uh, group chat, pwede nyo na po akong i-PM dito sa, sa chat na to. So, kung ayaw na ma marinig ng iba <laughs> or malaman ng iba yung mga tanong nyo. Pero Architect Trisha, may isa pang tanong dito. Sige, so, halimba okay. Halimbawa kasi di ba meron tayong studio tsaka one bedroom most kasi na mga nakatira sa Lipa malalaki yung ano nila eh, malalaki yung mga bahay nila. So mm -hmm. ano ba architect ang pwede mong ibigay na tip pagdating sa storage, uh, pag halimbawa lumipat sila sa ano sa one bedroom lang. So what what tip mm -hmm. can you get give them pagka from a, oo ano tawag doon pag empty nester na moving into a one bedroom. Yes, okay. Uh, for storage no lalo na pag from from a house uh, a residential dwelling kayo and then ilipupunta kayo ng uh, ng uh, condominium i suggest na kunin niyo ang mga marami tayong mga furniture ngayon na na may mga storage sa ilalim for example bed na lang so instead of uh, yung yung may legs lang sa pa, sa, sa, sa sa base niya no So may mga lumalabas na yan lahat na beds na may mga storage na lahat, may mga drawers lahat yan sa ilalim. 
Tapos like for example, yung center table nyo, uh, pwede kayong mag, uh, gumamit ng mga uh, table na akala nyo plain table lang siya pero nabubuksan pala yan, puro storage yung loob noon. So yun ang mga, yun ang mga tips dyan kasi nga para, para hindi rin masyadong maging cramp yung loob ng unit nyo. So um, pwede rin yung iba, uh, for example, sa, sa pinaka upper part ng uh, ng living dining nila, doon sila nagpapabuilt in. Pero huwag kayong maglalagay ng malaking storage. For example, um, studio units, no? Uh, for example, studio unit, huwag kayong maglalagay ng parang malaking storage na magbablock ng light at saka ng, ng air circulation kasi um, uh, dahil maliit lang yung space, no? So, ang suggestion ko lahat are all furniture. Maraming furniture. Ito yung tinatawag nga ng mga compact furniture. Marami sa kanila na puro may mga storages lahat sa ilalim na pwede niyong gamitin. So yan, yan ang, yan ang tip ko lang for storage. Mm, actually nakakita na rin ako ng mga ganung klase ng furniture ngayon sa ano eh, sa mall eh. Um okay. I think yung next question architect mo kang buyer na natin ito eh. Uh, oh. her question is how to make my unit look bigger. Yun na, yun na yun. So basic uh, color ang importante is go uh, neutral, light neutral color. Yan muna ang gawin nyo. Um, uh, huwag kayo masyadong mag-paint ng dark colors. And then, I suggest that you do the minimalist or the contemporary mm -hmm. uh, look. Kasi ito yung, ito yung medyo light ang color, konti lang ang furniture, hindi siya masyadong cluttered. Yan. So, hindi magmumukhang uh, masikip ang furniture. Kung ano lang talaga yung kailangan nyo, no? yun lang pwede nating ilagay. Oo, yun. Actually, I personally like the ano eh, the minimalist na look talaga doon sa presentation yes. mo eh. So, ipicture lang ko din, gagayahin ko 'yan. Ito pa may last question. Actually, naging problema ko rin to, Architect Trisha. Mukhang pareho kami ng tanong nito. Ano po yung tip na mabibigay nyo? Kasi 'di ba, Architect, pag gusto mo maglagay ng paintings kasi art lover, uh -oh. ang hirap mag-mount yung yung uh -oh. tamang height. So, okay. is there a tip kung ano tamang pag-mount ng mga art pieces? Okay. Um standard natin is Uh, bago kayo mag-mount ng mga paintings nyo, no? So, ang standard height niyan ay from floor hanggang sa gitna ng painting. Ibig sabihin, ito yung eye level nyo, yung gitna ng painting, is kung sa inches ay 60 inches, and then kung sa meter ay 1.50, 1.50 meters. So, yon ang standard talaga niyan. So, yung mga paintings na yan, so kukunin nyo yung gitna ng paintings, dapat yung gitna na yon nandun yun sa 1.5. So, uh, pag meron kayo mga karpintero na pwede niyong um, sabihan at gusto niyo maghang ng painting, yun lang. Sabihin niyo lang, galing sa floor, paakyat sa wall, it's 1.50 meters. Yun na. Yun ang standard talaga ng mounting height ng painting. Ah, so, may standard pala. Kala ko parang uh -oh. ano lang eh, hula-hula lang. Sakapat mo lang. Pero yan ang, actually, yan ang pinakamahirap na ginagawa. Pagka, especially, kahit naman sa bahay, yan ang pinakamahirap yung mag- mag ano ka, mag-mount ka ng mga paintings. Okay, so uh, anyone else po na gusto magtanong? Kung hindi man sa chat group, baka gusto nyo, pwede nyo namang i-unmute po ang mga sarili ninyo. Kung meron po ko kayong katanungan. Okay. So, kung wala na pong katanungan, thank you so much, Architect Trisha, dun sa mga useful tips mo. Magandang hapon po ulit sa kanilang lahat. Sana po'y natuwa kayo sa ating um, Sharing the architect Trisha this afternoon, uh, very valuable tips. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapaunlak sa aming imbitasyon ngayong hapon. I'm sure marami po kayong nakuhang tips. Sana po nag-take down kayo ng notes. And uh, we hope that you will find them all very useful no, sa pag-improve ng inyong mga tanong. Ahanan at ng mga espasyo po ninyo, lalo na po sa mga panahon ngayon na ang ating tahanan ay siyang sanctuaryo natin no? at our safe haven no? ng bawat isa sa atin, lalo na po ng bawat pamilya. We're very pleased to share also earlier yung aming news no? na tatayo na po natin ng second tower ng Tierra Lorenzo Lipa. Meron po tayong demand no, for quality and innovative housing developments dito po sa lalawigan ninyo at sa region po. And uh, kami po sa Torre Lorenzo, we're ready to cater to the 
evolving tastes and preferences po ng mga lipenyo at ng mga batanggenyo. Uh, ang ating pong Tierra Lorenzo uh, Lipa Project welcomes everyone who would like to see for themselves no, yung aming pong amenities. Uh, some of the amenities po na na-mention ni Anton earlier are ready na po no? plus meron pa pong i idadagdag sa kasabay po ng construction ng Tower 2. Uh, and at this point, uh, we'd like to invite you, no? Um, if we can have the slide, please. Uh, Trisha, yeah. Ito po, no? Um, sa mga gusto pong um, pumasyal sa aming proyekto sa Tierra Lorenzo Lipa, sa Altamirano Street po ito, you can scan the QR code na naka-flash po ngayon dito. Or altern, eh, tapos fill up nyo po yung mga questions doon. Simply lang naman po, maiksi lang po yun, ano? and Or you may also call no, our uh, sales division head in charge of Tierra Lorenzo Lipa, no other than Miss Richie Zavalia. Nandyan po ang mga contact information ni Richie. Uh, babae po si Richie. <laughs> Ayan po siya. Um, if you can spotlight on Richie so that uh, siya pong hahanapin ninyo. Uh, and she has a team no, of people there. Every day po may mga naka-assign po doon. So please, uh, but it would be good po no, because of social distancing and um, yung ating health and safety protocols. It would be good po to set the appointment first uh, para po ma- Schedule po natin ng maayos ang mga viewing po ang inyong tripping. Tapos, uh, we are happy to extend to you. We will give complimentary TLDC tokens for those who attended this afternoon's event when you uh, book your um, visit to Tierra Lorenzo Lipa. So, ayan po ang mga ways no, to book your uh, visit to our project. So, we definitely look forward to your to hearing from you soon. Uh, and once again, maraming maraming salamat po sa oras na ibinigay po ninyo sa amin ngayong hapon na ito. Please stay safe and uh, take care.